guys, I'm thinking about getting a greenhouse so I can start growing food. You know, I'm growing food indoors. I'm going to grow it outdoors. And now I want to grow it in a greenhouse. So what do you guys think of this little greenhouse right here? So I want to see y'all vote on it. Do you like this one? You like this one with the double door that's a little shorter? Or let's see what we got over here. But y'all vote. Comment below which greenhouse you think I should get to start growing all my food. That thing's big right there. Look at that one. And then this one here and a couple more like that. But this is from Lone Star and they are in Commerce, Texas. another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. A lot of you guys always ask me, can you grow food in a bunker? And the answer is yes. And how will you do that? You'll do it the Eden Growing System. And where did this technology came from? It came from our good old buddies at NASA. So in today's video, part one, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Eden Growing System. And then immediately I'll put out a part two where we actually plant the seedlings in this eating growing system and you're going to see food coming up really fast like within days so guys stay tuned the first piece that came out and all those little trays right there so he's starting to open it up put it together for you guys all right so the very first thing what do you do you just put the reservoir on it slides in and there's pins here to stop it and this down here holds all the water yeah you can have fish in here or you can just have a nutrient solution wow so you can do aquaponics or aeroponics with this yep wow which model is this one? Yeah, you got the ET200, so this is the double deck. The double deck. So you, can, you, you can do fish, plus you'll have two sets of grow chambers, and you can grow the full spectrum of plants, not just like normal hydroponics. It's like two inches deep, but we can actually, we have eight inches, so you can grow like beets, garlic, uh, potatoes, carrots, all those things can be done in this tower. Wow. And this will take how long to put together? It'll take one person about an hour to put this whole thing together. So now we're going to slide the first grow chamber on. Two people better than one on that. So does it take two people to put it together really is one person enough? One person's enough once you know what you're doing. And we have thumb screws here that just tighten in. So you don't okay. need any tools to put together. So no tools. No tools. Wow. Just a knife to open the box. That's it. Yep. And lots of packaging to keep them safe. And then we're going to come back and we're going to level these later. And you can change the height of these. So based on what type of crop you're growing, if you need more space between the grow decks, you can actually lower it or raise it up. Wow. And this thing was originally, this is the one that was designed for NASA. Correct. NASA to technology. Yep. Wow. Yep. Next step is to put the uh, lids on, the grow lids. This is where your vegetables and everything will grow. You just set them on. And we designed these so that you can just lift them up. So if you want to check on your roots, there's no dirt in the system. So you don't have to bring any dirt into the shelter or anything. You just uh, lift it up, you can check on your roots, and you'll have grow cups in here when we get to that step. This thing is very well made. That's aluminum too. It is, yeah, all 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. So this this particular model, which is like their platinum series, let's say, is designed to last forever. There is a plastic model they're looking at coming out with that would be a lot less expensive, but the shelf life of it would only be like maybe five to 10 years, where this is a one-time purchase, lifelong uh, aeroponics or hydroponics too, right? Uh, yeah, aquaponics or hydroponics, yep. You can do both and it is all aeroponic so there's zero all the roots just suspend in air and that means your plants are going to grow faster and you're going to get more yield so okay so explain that again the difference between aeroponics and hydroponics so there's three that people usually get so you have hydroponics aquaponics and aeroponics hydroponics is in general it's a big umbrella it says if you grow anything without dirt that's hydroponics within the field of hydroponics there's aeroponics which is growing with the roots suspended in air that's the aeroponics 
aquaponics is when you add fish waste as your nutrient solution instead of a synthetic or organic uh, nutrient solution. So this one, we're doing aeroponics, and you can do either just hydroponics or aquaponics. So you can use the fish waste as nutrient, or you can dump nutrient solution in. And this, that's one tray, so I'm going to have another tray so I can actually grow two levels of plants. Yeah, there'll be a light deck that we put on next, and then there'll be another grow chamber and another light deck. Wow. All this computer is cool. controlled. All computer controlled? Yeah, you don't have to spend any time. Five minutes a day, maximum. Wow. What are you doing up there? All right, so we put on the next set of legs, and we're adding the first light deck, which also just slides on. This is where two people would be even better, but you can do it. Do you need another hand? Not Hold on. There, I got it. Right. Okay, there you go. All right, and then you got the little thar thumb yep. hand bolts. Yeah, don't tighten them yet. Oh, don't tighten them yet, okay. And then you just gotta get it once again. So, cut cut it. Here, you gotta get it to slide. Little slide down. So, this thing is very heavy duty, I'm noticing. Everything is aluminum. Yeah. Yeah, there's no plastic on this thing. I don't know how you're gonna make an improvised kind of a plastic version. I guess you'll have to lower. Now, the other things that are out there now, if I Google and I look at growing trees, I find a lot of these like white plastic things for $7.99 and $8.99. Yeah. And a system like this uh, retails for around $2,000. And I can see why this thing is just super heavy duty. Yeah, these are built to last and they're also, they're not toys. This is. Uh, like a lot of the stuff that you buy, they're for people who want to like grow some, grow some mint, grow some lettuce maybe, but we're talking about growing real food. So it needs to last, it needs to be robust, it needs to be easily maintainable. And that's what we try to design into this system. And is this, um, are these popular with the guys growing the... Um, um, hemp? Right yeah, hemp. Cannabis? Yeah. yeah. Yes, these grow cannabis very, very well. Very, very well. Uh, you don't need any experience to grow cannabis with this tower. You literally just get your seeds, put it in, set the default settings. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, we have a tall deck version that has a grow deck that goes from here all the way up. And you can grow, you can fill the whole thing with one plant or you can do a lot of plants. You could do the sea of green method. So technically I could add another tray onto this one. We actually have a triple deck. Okay. So you actually have, we have quite a few different variations, including a uh, potato deck. Really? Yeah. So is this why you're moving the lights down? Uh, yeah, so you want about 12 to 16 inches here. If I had another deck, would the lights be up higher? Uh, you would remove this in order to get another deck, and the lights would be about 12 inches. Okay, so is there something still above here? Yep, we're putting another grow deck. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, okay. Oh, another grow deck right and there. another set of lights. Yep. Oh, okay, keeps going. Yep. I got you. Okay, well, yeah. this is cool. Very modular, very easy to put in. And then in your particular case, I was thinking, instead of having the roll around, we could actually have it where it latches into the bunker floor. So it would attach and be rigid. Anyway. What's cool about this, guys, is I'm going to be growing plants here. And you guys, on each video, I'll do an update on the growth of my plants so y'all can see uh, how they're progressing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very easy to grow in, for sure. Update. That's three weeks old right there. That's some of my lettuce. Looking good. Okay, next one, we're putting the second grow deck on this tower. It goes on the same as all the others. It just slides right on. So we're just going to do the same thing we did down there, but up there. That's right. Yep. So each tray has its own set of lights. That's correct. Yep. What, what, tell me about these lights. What is it with these lights? Because yep. I know they're rather expensive lights. These are uh, full spectrum LED lights. We've done grow operations with uh, direct spectrum, meaning uh, usually you'll see it as a purple color mm -hmm. because, uh, well, there's a debate right now regarding on indoor growing if you should use full spectrum or if you should have dedicated. And we found better results with full spectrum and it looks way better to the human. These are them. Yeah. So, so we're gonna turn like... them, we'll turn them on in a minute and see them. Yeah, yeah, yep. We got a few more steps to get there, but yep. So mm -hmm. we just gotta get this guy to slide down and so we're gonna just repeat that right there. So a triple deck is really tall because this already this already is uh, over seven feet tall right there. Yeah. Yep. The triple deck is just a little bit taller. Just wow. So barely. Yeah. You better have tall ceilings for the triple deck. Yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do is attach the supply line. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, we're just gonna go and connect it in right where it says the decks here. Connect. Everything's pushed to connect. Come up here. Just connect them in. So you put together a bunch of these. 
that's the water line. Yep. yep. What kind of fish can you grow down there? Uh, we've done giant freshwater prawns. Uh, you could do tilapia. I've raised rainbow trout, none in this, but yeah, you know, in this we've done giant freshwater prawns. And how many gallons is that? 60 gallons. So, and that, all that metal thing's the reservoir. Uh, oh, this. this is the reservoir. The reservoir is this thing yeah, here. Yeah, this is the base where, uh, this is designed with USDA food safety protocols in mind. So all of the maintenance items are down below where the food is at. So it's food safe. Are the fish happy in that black case? Yeah, when we do a fish version, you have an extra filter plus a circulation pump. So the fish have something to do the whole time. Well, uh, they don't, I mean, it's completely, where, otherwise it's completely black in there, isn't it? You want it completely black and they don't care about that. Really? So, yeah, you Fish can, don't care? Not, especially the shrimp and all that. That's care. right. At night it's dark in water anyway. Yeah, they don't yeah. really care. Yeah. That's how I care about the fish. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> you like, want happy fish or happy or, or healthy fish and that yeah. means better tasting fish. That's absolutely true. That's totally the case. Uh, so that is definitely something you want you need help uh you might need help on this one this one's a little bit heavier okay put the light on there okay and the same thing it's just going to slide right on no tools there we go let's get one on just need a is this one got a top cap no okay Yeah, it took us a while to make sure we had no tools. We don't want any tools for assembly. So, tell me about the NASA part about this. Yeah, so NASA figured out when they're trying to keep astronauts alive, they figured out the aeroponics method. And that's what we brought in. Also, NASA developed LEDs. And the reason it's a cool story, they developed LEDs so that glass from the incandescence wouldn't explode and float in space and get in astronauts' eyes. So they developed LEDs as well. But we recognize in our design uh, the aeroponics. So we're actually a NASA spin-off company because we're using their technology. And what's this Mars Hydro? Uh, that's the brand name of these lights. Oh, okay. They're full spectrum lights, uh, really good full spectrum. They grow very well for us. We've had good, good success with them. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is run the cable harness, which comes pre-installed. And there's actually mounting points for it, just little clips where it all just clips in. And then we're going to do that all the way across here and all the way across the top. Get this all mounted in. And we have some pretty nice connectors. Once you connect them, you shouldn't have to connect or disconnect ever again, really. I'm just going to connect those in. They only go in one way, so you can't mess that up. We're going to do that up here and finish the wiring. So we're putting this together in our break room, but we're eventually going to move it out to a shelter. All right, so the next thing we're going to do uh, is install the fans. Now, this is different than what you'll see on other towers, but I'll tell you a little secret about growing food indoors is plants are like people. If you don't challenge them, they don't grow strong and healthy. So a lot of indoor plants that you'll see kind of look like they've been on a beach for a while. Uh, so we use offsetting fans to create a cyclonic effect that actually helps with challenging the plants with wind, like God would do. Uh, also, uh, it helps with pollination, so you don't actually have to man manually pollinate. And ours are really easy. You just slide it on. And there's little rubber legs that grab, you point it, and then we connect. And there's one fan per there's, tray? Yep, uh, there's two actually, so we'll do another one over here. Wow. So they're offsetting, so you create a little cyclone inside of the tower area here. That up. How long did it take NASA to develop this system? Oh, uh, they spent quite a few years figuring out. Aeroponics. So they probably spent millions and millions of dollars on this, right? Oh, yeah, aeroponics for sure. I mean, how? one of their grove systems is worth millions of dollars. So, so how were you able to get this system to the public? Uh, well, the hardest part about taking their technology is figuring out how to manufacture, how to actually build things inexpensively. And our price point is, you know, around $3,000 right now for this tower. Um, but we're working on getting it down and as our company grows we get buying power and we get you can start buying aluminum in bulk and then we're going to be dropping these tower prices down so everybody can get them that's amazing so that's the big part about transitioning technology is figuring out how to build it well i can tell as a fabricator there's a lot in this thing this isn't one of those 699 or 899 yeah. plastic
plastic trees that's just a plastic base you just stick the plants in there yeah i got an exciting thing to share coming up in, in, in the next one of the next scenes i'll show you what makes it really different because if you're mechanically inclined you can look at this and you can build it yourself but there's more to growing food indoors than just building a, a shelf um, all right, so one of the things that really separates our tower apart is the information that we collect and program into the computer that then controls this entire thing. So anyone who's tried growing food in a garden indoors, you know that the learning curve is very steep. With our system and the computer control, it's really easy. So we take a very hard learning curve and flatten it down. Computer just slides into the stand here. You can move this stand around. You can just take it off, move it wherever you want, whatever is easiest for you. I like it right here. So this is a computer driven growing system? Yep. And okay. then uh, just wrap this around like that and we're gonna plug it in. And once we power on the system, this will all charge and the computer will take over. What, now what does the computer do? It controls the lights, the pumps, the fans. It monitors the system. And if you wanna connect it to um, the internet, if you have these in a bunker and you're away from it, you can actually monitor your entire thing remotely, you like serious? if you're on another planet. And then we offer a service called Eden Systems Monitoring. It's kind of like uh, a security system for your plants, where we can monitor, if you connect to the internet, our systems can run without the internet. That was a huge deal, is we didn't want you to have to connect to the internet to use all the software features. Well, here's, here's a question. How much food can one tree like this grow? One yeah, one tower yeah, grow. One so it's easier to say this way. If you had four towers, you could have 2,000 calories every day, 365 days a year. How many towers? Four towers. Four of these will create enough food for one person for one year. And a 2,000 calorie diet continuously forever. And that's just on vegetables and or fruits. Correct. Yep. So what all will, that will grow in here? Now, I understand this will grow potatoes and carrots, which trees won't do that because they don't have a reservoir underneath Correct. that. Yeah, Explain the that. Competition doesn't have the deep reservoir like we do. So on this tower, you can grow beets, carrots, garlic, onions, leafy greens, strawberries. Uh, if you spread this out, you could even do berry bushes if you really wanted to. We have another tower that is specifically built for potatoes. That's like the grow chamber is this big. So you just reach in and grab your potatoes off of it. We have a tall deck that will allow you to grow cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, cannabis, um, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, all those things can grow in the towers. You Crazy. can grow everything. Realistically, what's the difference between your growing system and these things people see online that are eight hundred ninety nine dollars? Yeah, well, those are those are toys. This is a tool. This is built to grow food. If you want to do it as a hobby, a toy is a great thing. But if you want to have something that's easy to maintain, built to grow food with all the food safety protocols, if you want to do it commercially, um, this is the system for you. And this is NASA technology, and it's just now coming to the residential market. Correct, yeah. That's what we figured out, is how to bring NASA tech down, down to Earth for every day. Every wow. Day folks. Wow. It is super impressive so far. So another thing, we include in it uh, a toolkit. So uh, we're going to be adding more sensors and stuff, but right now we include a pH meter uh, and total dissolved solid meter. And then we have some tools here in case you do have to do actual involved maintenance. Uh, we include all those, plus some trimmers for your plants. Include that all in a nice little toolkit for you. What's the waiting time to get one of these right now? I'm uh, sure they're back like three months. Three months. So yeah, guys, we're working on minimizing that. We're just hiring some new folks. We're looking at new facilities. Uh, we've got about $80,000 worth of back orders right now. So guys, I will put a link below um, and I'll put it in the description to this company called Eden and they're uh, out of Houston, Texas. Yep. So, you know, anything made in Texas is good, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so planting these things is really easy. You take a cup that comes with the tower, you take our grow meteor right here, you put it in the cup, put the seed into that hole right there, then you take this cap, you open it up, a little piece out so there's a little hole in it where the plant comes through put the cap in nice and tight this helps keep the water in so you use 98 percent less water and you put it in and that's it that's it that's how you plant it wow and this is all included yep and repeat do this so again. after a grow season do they order more of these from you depending uh you can order these online these are standard uh now what is that it, it feels is like a cardboard a, yeah it's Boy, like it, a, it feels like foam it has no weight to it yep 
Yeah, this is organic. It's uh, biodegradable, so you can put it in your compost pile. And I mean, it literally has zero weight. Yeah, it's super light. It's it, lighter than foam. It would float on water until it got heavy or wow. filled with water. But it holds water really, really well, and it breathes. So you don't get mold, uh, hardly any fungus or anything like that. And because we're not using dirt, you don't have uh, bugs. You don't have pest disease, any of those things. The plants are super clean. You just reach in and eat it. So we're going to do a power on. Everything's going to turn on. And the computer now has full control over the tower. All the instructions are here about how to use it. So really detailed. And you can connect to this via your local network. So you can connect on Wi-Fi, and then you can connect through your phone or through your laptop, or you can create a global account through the cloud and actually access this tower from any place on the planet. Or if you're on the space station or Mars, you can get to here as well. You just need internet. Well, they could technically almost send a shuttle up there with plant, with food ready to grow. It takes three months to get there. By the time it gets there, it's, I guess, it could be, yeah, yeah, well, it could be they'd have to have a robot to take the food out yeah. and then store it. Yep. No, but uh, everything that you heard just fans kicked on, they're on a schedule. You can change the schedule. It's all touch screen control. Um, we send the computer with it, so you don't need another one. Uh, but you can control this from your phone or over the internet, anywhere. And this is how they're going to grow food in Mars. It's, yeah, this type of technique. Well, they, they say there's water on Mars, so if they can find the water. Oh, yeah. Um, so all you need is nutrient solution. So we got it fully assembled, so you're going to go ahead and turn it on? Yeah. There we are. Oh, wow. So that is super high tech. So this is how they're going to grow food in Mars, huh? Yep, something like it. Wow, that is so cool. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video because there's going to be a part two and several parts after that. But in part two, he's going to go ahead and show me how to plant the food. So make sure you like and subscribe and look for part two on the Eden growing system. Absolutely.